The unstoppable move. The move that cannot be stopped. The stop that cannot... What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a really underrated way to score in Rocket League. So basically, it's an offensive tactic and if you do it right, the opponent literally cannot stop it. Hence the name, the unstoppable move. So I'm pretty sure the first person to consistently be using this offensive strategy is the Rocket League player from Europe named Jesse, who uses bumping and demoing to score a lot of goals. And then I noticed a lot of the top players in North America started doing this too. So I'm going to go ahead and play a clip of it right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So you can see it's basically an air dribble to bump type of thing where you start an air dribble from a bounce on the ground and then take a touch and then get in between the ball and the opponent so the opponent is pretty much forced to get bumped by you but it can be used differently in different situations and by that I mean you can start an air dribble off from the wall or it doesn't even have to be an air dribble you can just do it as a dribble on the ground but explaining how to do this on the ground would pretty much be a bump tutorial and you know I don't want to be that weird guy who makes bump tutorials and stuff so for the purpose of this video I'm gonna be explaining how to do this as an air dribble to bump strategy but I mean you guys are smart you can probably apply the same principles I'm gonna talk about to a ground play so to do this you need a decent ability to air dribble the ball but by no means do you have to be amazing at air dribbles or anything so it shouldn't be too hard for me to explain how to do this so after I explain that I'm gonna talk about why and when you should use this strategy which are probably the two most important things regarding this move so how to do it first you got to start off your air dribble you can do that from the wall or the ground but for this Video, I'm gonna be talking about how to do it from the ground so the easiest way to start an air dribble from the ground is when the ball is bouncing and to get the ball to bounce like that you can cut the ball and go to the other side of it and start your bounce dribble from there or there are just some situations in the game where the ball happens to be bouncing like that in your favor so right after the ball bounces is when you want to be starting off your air dribble and to do that you jump from under the ball and use your car's momentum to carry the ball in an upwards motion so for this tutorial I'm assuming you're halfway decent at doing that and then from there you want to get one or two touches on the ball to keep the ball moving upwards and here's where it gets different from a normal air dribble so the whole time you're starting up that air dribble you need to be aware of where the defender is and once you get enough upward touches to where you know the ball will be going into the goal is when you need to change your focus of getting more touches on the ball to trying to take out the defender and to do this you need to simply change the path of where your car is going and you need to position it directly in between the opponent and the ball so assuming you got enough height on your air dribble to make the defender jump then the opponent will have to jump for the ball and and that means if you can get your car in between the opponent and where the opponent needs to go, which is to the ball, then you'll get a bump or demolition on him, which happens to be the desired outcome you want. ASMR. So that's basically the how-to portion of this video, but there's no point in really learning how to do this if you don't know when and why you should be doing it. So when should you attempt to do the unstoppable move? So you want to be doing this when the defender is pretty far away from you, so you have a good bit of time and space to set up a ground to air dribble, and you can do it in 1v1, 2v2, and 3v3, and obviously the more people that are on your team, the less risky it is for you to do. So like anything like this, it's less risky to do in a 3v3 environment rather than a 1v1, because if you're in a 1v1, and you mess this up, the defender is more likely to score on you because you don't have any teammates to back you up. And another risk involved is that it uses a good bit of boost. So if you don't get the desired outcome, then it may take you longer than normal to recover because you used a lot of your boost already. So why this works so well is because when you're air dribbling the ball, the defender expects you to keep air dribbling it. And I mean, it's 2018, so usually a skilled defender can read an air dribble pretty well. So most of the time, at least in a grand champ lobby, a defender will easily save any ground to air dribble you do because they can predict where the ball will go but the good thing about them predicting where the ball will go is that you can predict where they're gonna go because you're the one who dictates where the ball goes did that make sense? Basically, it works against highly skilled defenders because they think it's going to be their ordinary air dribble save, but if you can get into that position in between where the ball is going to go and where the defender is going to go, then... So I'd say this strategy is just as risky or maybe a little bit less risky than doing a normal ground to air dribble. And if you get it right, you're way more likely to score a goal. The only real way I know of to stop the unstoppable move is when the defender rushes the ball right away and you don't have enough time to get that setup you want where your car is in between the ball and the defender. So they're basically not letting you have enough time to start the move you want to do. And in that case, if you can see them rushing you, just try to get a 50-50 and then start another play from there. 
And look, honestly, especially if you're a higher ranked player, just go into a match, go play some ranked, and actually try doing this. I remember when I was in that situation, I would always just go for an air dribble, even though I knew that I could be doing this. But for some reason, I just didn't think to do it. And I finally told myself before playing that if I get a chance for an air dribble, then I'm gonna try going for this. And it works. Like the majority of the time I go for this, I score a goal. So there's really no reason not to do it. And it'll feel weird in the beginning because you're so used to trying to keep that air dribble above the defender because that's what you've naturally always tried doing. But if you actually go into a match and force yourself to think of doing this instead of doing an air dribble, then you'll probably be really impressed. Because if you're in the right situation and you do it right, it's pretty much unsavable. Alright guys, that's about it for the video, so if you enjoyed it or it helped you out in any way, make sure to leave a like, and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and want to see more videos like this.